world. This is the Show Me Sports Network. The following is an exclusive broadcast property presentation of the Show Me Sports Network and is a high fidelity all digital broadcast. This broadcast is copyright by the Show Me Sports Network for the private use of our audience. Any other use of this broadcast without the Show Me Sports Network's written consent is prohibited. Marshall Owls here in the uh, Constellation side of the bracket. It's the fifth place game between these two teams. The first game of the day we saw had uh, the uh, Lynn Lady Wildcats taking on the Mexico Lady Bulldogs. It was all Lynn as they won 61-39. Had a 30-plus point lead several times in the ball game there as they had 35 points chipped in by senior Shara Hotstetler. She was named to the all-conference team. No surprise there as uh, well-deserved on her part because of all the uh, points that she put in. Very impressive to watch as both teams continuing to get warmed up here. This is game two of six today, two of six that we will have on the air I'm going to finish up my scorebook here real quick. As we said, these two teams matching up here in this fifth place game. Players continuing to shoot around. As we said, these two teams matching up for... Centralia, they played Harrisburg. It was a four versus five seed and lost to Harrisburg. That was on Tuesday. That uh, was 61-41 final. That pushed them through onto the consolation side of the bracket where they beat Fayette, the eighth seed, 57-39. Fayette lost to Fulton, 70-39 in their first game on Tuesday. So... That's how Centralia got here for Marshall. They started the uh, day off with the first game on Tuesday. They lost to Blair Oaks 74-35. Then they beat Lynn 48-47. That was on Thursday at the middle school to push them through to this fifth place game. Hallsville and Lynn matched up. It was all Hallsville. They won 81-45. That moves Hallsville on. On the uh, championship side, that put... Lynn on the consolation side of the bracket. That's how the two teams made their way here to the game here earlier. Last night, Fayette and Lynn matched up in the seventh place game. Fayette got the upset 47-44. They actually, the girls and boys squads won both games. They swept seventh place doubleheader action as uh, they won that. On the girls' side, they uh, played Fulton. And beat them as well on the girls' bracket, 47-44. So congratulations to them for winning both sides of that. So we will have starting lineups, a few other things here coming up momentarily. Don't forget the next game will be the third-place game for the girls. That will have Harrisburg, number three, taking on Blair Oaks, number five. Then we'll have... The next game, that'll be third place for the boys. That'll be number three, Hallsville, taking on number four, Harrisburg. Don't forget, that game will be on our sister channel, the Show Me Sports Network 1 or SMSN 1. That's where we put all over Hallsville Athletics. So we will stop our encoder, switch gears over to the other channel, and get that game on the air. So we will have starting lineups here in just one second. Don't forget, if you've not done so, be sure and head over to our Facebook page. You can give it a like, give it a share. We appreciate the support. You can also find us on Twitter at Show Me Sports Net. Didn't have enough characters for network. And finally, we're on YouTube. It's where we archive our games. To be honest, right now at this point, as of today, I'm around 72 games behind. We're trying to get football and softball archived, but it just takes a long time. We also archive our games anywhere you can uh, find podcasts. You can find our game broadcast archived as well. So taking a look at the starters for the Marshall Owls, they'll start number two, sophomore Deacon Aarons, a junior wearing number three, and Jackson Case, a freshman number four, Chase Thompson. They'll start a junior wearing number 11, and Stephen Cavanis, 
and a senior wearing number 34, Logan Alspach. For the Owls, they're under head coach Lane Titus. As the five for them again, Aarons, Case, Thompson, Cavanis, and Alspach. So for the Centralia Panthers, they'll start number two, a senior, Jack Romine. A junior wearing number three, Colin Bennett. They'll start a sophomore, number 14, Logan Rosenfelder. A junior, number 15, Noah Croft. And a senior wearing number 40 in Bowen Zimmerman, Scott Humphrey, the head coach for the Panthers, as Owls and Panthers basketball is set here as officials say they're ready. Scores table says they are ready. Teams finish up some last-minute conversations before they say they are ready as well. As this is for fifth place in the 2023 Harrisburg Basketball Tournament. Blake Gasway here with you on the Show Me Sports Network. We're glad you're tuned in to our broadcast here today. Broadcast 2 of 6. As Alspach will be in center circle, he'll be matched up against Bennett as they'll bump fists. We say they're ready. Ball is in the air. Tip will be controlled by Centralia. Centralia, the Panthers will be going right to left on your broadcast here on the Show Me Sports Network, either by uh, Media Center or our app, however you're listening. We're glad you're tuned in. Romine will have it. He'll hand it off to Bennett here on the near side. So he'll go right, now go back left, and he just threw it away. His pass will be taken away by Cavanis. He'll drive in, try to lay it up. Ball's going to be stripped out of his hands, so the Owls will get it underneath their own bucket. Again, for Marshall, they'll be going left to right on your broadcast here today in this first half of action. Blake Gasaway on the call here for you just past 1.30 here on the Show Me Sports Network. Thompson will have it. He'll leave it off for Aarons. Bounce pass to Alspach. He'll have it top of the key. He'll give it off. Driving in, shot up is no good by Cavanis. That'll be a whistle and a foul called. We'll see who the guilty party was. That's on Zimmerman, his first team first. So we'll be the Owls at the free throw line as Cavanis will be having a couple of tosses here. First free throw up, no good, rimmed out. So he cannot give his team the lead here as we're still scoreless. 7.22 left here in this opening period. So he will tow the line, does Cavanis. He'll look at the bucket, second free throw up. Good, rattled that one in. First lead, it's a one to nothing lead. First lead of the game goes to Marshall as they lead one to nothing. Bennett has it, looking down low, intended for Croft. There's gonna be Romine with it. Zimmerman has it, low post, back to Romine. Now he needs to get rid of it. He'll do so cross court over to Rosenfelder, down low to Zimmerman. Good matchup there between him and Allspock. There's a three up, no good by Bennett. Rebound will come down to Marshall. They lead by a score of one to nothing. They could add to their lead here. Aarons will have it. Dish it far side to Case. He'll drive along the baseline, give it back to Aarons. With it is Allspock. He'll leave it for Thompson and a whistle, and Thompson traveled with it before he went to the bucket, so it'll go back the other way. Allspock and Zimmerman. Senior versus senior, good matchup down low. Both have similar hairstyles. Wouldn't call it a mullet, but have short hair in the front, party in the back. That pass will be knocked out of bounds. They'll say it'll stay with Centralia. Have a little bit of curlage going on in that hair, too. Again, good matchup between the two. 6.29 left to go here in this opening period. Bennett will have it here on the near side. Straight away, he'll give a pass off to Romine. He'll have it in the right wing. That is Rosenfelder as he will give it off. Bounce pass to Zimmerman here on the near side, trying to work his way in. His shot up, no good. He'll fight for his own rebound. Whistles, they say jump ball. Possession pointing back the other way. So Marshall will get the basketball as the Owls will take it the other way. It's a one to nothing lead in favor of the Owls. Aarons will have it, give it top of the key. He will give it off to uh, Allspock. Now back to Cavanis, and he lost the dribble and 
It's going to be taken by the Panthers. However, they're double team in backcourt. Get it off to Bennett. So good work there to keep the basketball. Rosenfelder has it. He'll get it back far side. So work the left-hand dribble. Pass off to Bennett here on the near side. Romine with it. He'll have it. Zimmerman trying to drive in. His shot up good. Zimmerman has his first bucket. It is our first lead change as it makes it a two-to-one ball game in favor of the Panthers. As with it is Alls Pock. He'll have it. Free throw line with it now is Thompson. As they'll play a little catch. There's going to be Allspock with it. Driving in from the uh, right wing. Cavanis. he did not take the shot. He'll get it back. Left wing three up. No good on the iron. Rebound comes down to Zimmerman. He'll kick it off to Bennett. Bennett will quickly get it in the front court to Romine. He drives in. His shot blocked. Rebound comes down in the hands of Thompson. As they'll go back the other way to the Owls. With it is Aarons. He'll dish it off to Thompson. Trying to drive in, and there'll be a whistle and a foul as Bennett will pick up number one, team foul number two. So we'll be an inbound here. It'll be Jaden Dominique checking in the junior as well as freshman Brody Cooker. There's a quick inbound shot up. Good by Cavanis. He's got all three points. That's lead change number two. So that makes it. A 3-2 advantage in favor of the Owls. There's a shot up, no good. Offensive rebound, though, by Zimmerman. So they'll reset the offense. There's going to be a tipped ball in the backcourt, getting the steal as Aarons. He'll drive in, lay it up, good. Aarons has two more points. It's now a 5-2 ball game in favor of the Owls. There's a shot up by Zimmerman, no good. Rebound comes down to Dominique as he will give it off. In a front court. He'll give it off to Cavanis. Cavanis gives it to Cooker. Back to Thompson. He'll drive in near side. Shot up no good. As rebound will go the other way. And Centralia has it. They'll dish it straight away to Bennett. There's a three up. No good. Rebound. Rosenfelder. Offensive rebound by Zimmerman is good. That cuts it to a one-point game at 5-4. to four. The Owls leading by one here, 340 left to go in this opening period. As with it on the near side is Aarons. He'll dish it off for Thompson. They'll play a little catch. Cooker had it for a moment. Driving in is Cavanis, and they call a jump ball as he got tied up on his way to the bucket, hits the deck, gets up, says he's okay. Jones will check in for Owls. So Brooks. Another one checked in, too. Where'd he go? Orth checked in. Both of them for Centralia. Romine has a cross-court pass near side to Brooks. As the sophomore had it for a moment, he gives it off to Rosenfelder. He'll have it out front. Free throw line to Bennett. Near side three up. Good. That three up by Brooks. That is a lead change number three for us here. So that makes it a 7-5 to five ball game in favor of the Panthers over the Owls. As with it, far side, Aarons has it, gives it off straight away. Cooker had it for a moment. Now with it is Cavanis. He'll try to drive in near side. Shot up, no good, but a foul. He'll go to the free throw line. That foul is going to be called on Brooks. Number one on him. Team foul, number three. So it will be Cavanis at the free throw line for a couple of tosses here. First free throw up. He is no good. So he has a second one coming. As he missed the first one, he is one for three from the free throw line. Has three of the five points here for the Owls. Second free throw up. That one no good. So he missed both of those. Rebound comes down to Orth. As he will go the other way with it. Gives it off to uh, Rosenfelder. Now with it on the far side, Romine. He'll get it back. He'll be standing on that Bulldogs. Name on the far side. Now Brooks with it. He'll dish it off to uh, Bennett. Back to Brooks. They play a little catch out there. Right hand dribble. Pick it up. Give it off to Romine. Back to Brooks. Looking to wrap around. Nothing doing there. Far side. He'll give it off to Rosenfelder. Down low. There's going to be Orth with a shot. Good. He's got his first points. A lead at four at nine to five. Here for the Panthers. 
2.10 left to go here in this opening period. As Jones had it, that's Erlen Jones, gives it off to Cavanis. Driving in, shot up, no good by Dominique, but a foul. So he should go to the free throw line for a couple of tosses. That one called on Rosenfelder, his first, team number four. So Dominique will be at the free throw line. The junior have a couple of tosses coming here. First one up is no good. Hit off the iron, falls out. So he misses the first one. He does have a second free throw coming. His team trailing by four at nine to five. So he'll have a second free throw coming. That one up. That one is good. So he makes the back half of those. That lead cut down to three and nine to six under two minutes to go here in this opening period. As with it is Rosenfelder. Addition off to Brooks. Back to Rosenfelder in the paint. Driving in. Shot up from the underneath the bucket. No good by Bennett. Rebound will be knocked around. The Owls will get it back as Marshall able to uh, corral it there after it was pinballed around. Straight away with it is Case. He'll have it. He'll need some help. Give it top of the key to Thompson. He'll work it here to the near side to Dominique. Now right wing with it, driving in his case, his one-hander up good. That lead cut down to one and nine to eight as the Owls going on a little run here, trying to get the lead back. As with it will be Rosenfelder, left wing. There's a three up and good by Benji Chick, the senior. He gives it back to a four-point lead at 12 to eight as we're nearing one minute to go here in this opening period of basketball. As with it will be Case. He'll give it off. Dominique has it. Straight away, there's a three up by Thompson. That one short rebound taken by Brooks as he'll race quickly across the timeline, give it to Bennett far side. Straight away, that's Rosenfelder with it. Left wing, there's Chick for three again. That one's blocked by Dominique, so it will go out of bounds. 41.8 seconds left here in this opening period. 12 to eight, Centralia score as they lead here. Quick inbound to Orth, his shot up no good, way too strong, rebound comes down for the Owls the other way. As near side with it will be Thompson, he'll have a free throw line straight away. Case has it, back to Allspock, right wing Dominique. There's going to be Thompson with it, driving in. Allspock with it in the paint. Shot up good. The senior's got his first bucket of the game. The lead cut to two at 12 to 10. That's 15 seconds on the clock before the opening period comes to an end. Rosenfelder has it, gives it off to Bennett. He'll lose the basketball. It'll go back the other way. The Owls have it. Could take the lead or tie it up here before we go to the end of the first period as the Owls will call a timeout. So we'll take a quick break and be back. You're listening to exclusive coverage from the 2023 Harrisburg Basketball Tournament here on the Show Me Sports Network. There's no better way to celebrate a special event or show someone just how important they are to you than gifting them something handcrafted from Country with a Heart. Handmade in mid-Missouri, Country with a Heart specializes in hand-built woodworking projects for every occasion. Their design collection includes children's furniture, doll furniture, household items, holiday decor, outdoor decorations, custom projects, and everything in between. To view their full inventory of projects, visit countrywithaheart.com and find them on Facebook by joining the Country with a Heart group page. seconds left here in the ball game. The Owls have the basketball. They trail by two at 12 to 10. It's time nearing the end here for this opening period. Pressure will be put on here. They'll get it into the hands of Cavanis as he will have it poked out of his hands. They'll say off of him. We'll go back the other way. So Chantrelia has three seconds to work with here. They lead by two. Inbound will go into Brooks. He'll have to fire it from half court. Three up. No good. Misses. But the Panthers lead by a 12 to 10 margin here. We're going to take a break and be back. You're listening to exclusive coverage of the 2023 Harrisburg Basketball Tournament here on the Show Me Sports Network. 
Since 2018, Han Custom Laser Engraving LLC has been specializing in all things custom, using large format, high powered lasers with some of the most advanced technologies on the market. Anything can become a canvas. The state of the art system makes quick work of custom engraving on cups, glass, tile, wood, acrylic, metal, headstones with endless possibilities. They also offer custom one of a kind signs that are sure to make your design stand out. Find them on Facebook at Han Custom Laser Engraving or call 573 489 8732 to find out more on custom laser engraving llc a veteran owned business hi i'm retired army sergeant trent dirks and i want to tell you about an organization that saved and changed my life forever retrieving freedom provides highly trained service dogs to veterans with disabilities and children with autism absolutely free of charge thanks to the generous donations and support from people just like you experts from retrieving freedom help throughout the entire process from fostering programs through service dog placement retrieving freedom gave me the skilled service dog tracer who has been my best friend in my lifeline to find out more about how you can get involved volunteer foster or to donate visit their website retrievingfreedom.org. Retrieving Freedom, changing lives through the training and placement of service dogs for veterans with disabilities and children with autism. Well, it's a two-point ball game here as we get ready to start the second period of play. The Owls have the basketball. They trail by two to Centralia as Cavanis will have it. That'll be a turnover as Centralia will take it back the other way. Bennett will have it near side with it is Rosenfelder. There's going to be Zimmerman for a long jumper. That no good. Rebound will come down as Alspach hit the uh, court, but he gets up, jogs down the other way. I think he just lost his balance there. Thought, was hoping it wasn't a, a potential injury. We've seen plenty of those here in this tournament already. Cavaniss has it, gives it off to uh, Case. Far side three up by Thompson. Good. That gives the lead back to the Owls at 13 to 12. As they lead the Panthers right now. Zimmerman has it down low. There's going to be a three on the other end by Romine. High off the uh, iron, no good. Rebound will be a jump ball. As Cavanis and Croft both had it. So possession does stay with the Panthers on their side of the court. So they'll be just to the side of their bucket. As inbound, we'll start with Bennett. He'll get it in the paint for Croft. He cannot go up with it. He's among tall trees there. He'll dish it off to Rosenfelder. Has it out front. Now near side, Romine. Back to Rosenfelder. He'll kick it back to Romine. Down low for Croft. Now they'll look down low for Zimmerman. He won't even look at the bucket. And a whistle and a foul. As they call that on Thompson. The freshman picks up. His first team first, so they say he whacked the hand there, so he'll pick up his first as bounce pass in the paint. There's a whistle, and they say a foul there as that one will be called on Dominique, his first team second. So a couple of quick fouls for the Owls. Another inbound to the paint. Zimmerman trying to go up. He'll lay it up, lay it in. He's got six points. Got Allspock in the air. Moved around him, laid it up. That lead goes back to the Panthers at 14 to 13. Near side with it will be Brooks. He'll give it off to uh, Romine, back to Brooks. Down low, Allspock back to Brooks. They play catch, she is three up, no good. Allspock will suck in the rebound down there. He's a vacuum for those rebounds. Roll. As down low, shot up, good. Lead goes back as... Amini gets that. That gives the lead back to Marshall. As Zimmerman has it, got it in her front court to Rosenfelder. There's going to be a whistle and a foul as Allspock or Dominique will get that. That'll be on Allspock, his, his first team third. So at the free throw line, Rosenfelder will be at the free throw line. He could tie it up and or give his team the lead. First free throw up. It's good. We're tied. First tie of the ball game. We're tied at 15 apiece. 15-15 so tie. Rosenfelder could give us our seventh lead change of the game if he could hit this. Free throw up. Good. So he does so. That's lead change number seven now. 
And Centralia leads by a 16 to 15 margin. There's going to be a loose ball as Owls will keep it, though. In the paint, driving in, right-hander up and good. That by Cooker. That'll be lead change number eight as it's now an Owls lead 17 to 16. And straight away with it is Bennett. He'll give it to Zimmerman, double teamed in the left wing, needs to get rid of it. He's trying to as he will throw it in a timeout. Centralia, there's a 30-second timeout, so we'll keep it right here. This comes with 5.24 left to go here in this first half. Again, 17-16 to 16 score in favor of the Owls as they lead. Don't forget, if you've not done so, be sure and head over to our social media page. Find us at Show Me Sports Network. Give our page a like. Give it a share as well. Also on Twitter at Show Me Sports Network and YouTube. Find us on YouTube. Just simply search for Show Me Sports Network. You give our page, click on the subscription button, and click on the notification button as well. And it's got some big things coming our way today in the mail at the house. We should get some new piece of equipment that we need to try to bring you some different content on YouTube. Can't tell you any more than that, but big exciting things coming. So be sure and look us up on YouTube. If you've not done so, click, click on the subscription button as well as the... Notification button as Centralia will have the basketball down low looking for Bennett. There's a whistle and a foul. So that'll be on Case. That's his first, team number four. So it'll be an inbound for the Panthers as they get it in free throw line to Croft. His shot up good. He drops that in. That lead goes back the other way. So it's an 18-17 to 17 ball game in favor of Centralia. As near side with it, that'll be Thompson. He'll kick it far side. Cavan has had it for a moment, trying to drive down low. Lost the basketball, and they call a timeout by the Owls. As down low with it was Case. So it will be a timeout called. Be a 30-second timeout. This comes with 4.56 left to go here in this first half. And it's an 18-17 lead. The Owls trailing here to the Panthers. As, uh, as I was saying, we have getting a new piece of equipment in the mail today, so has to do with uh, some of our content we want to do for YouTube, so that's about all the depth I can tell you at the moment. Not quite ready to put out there exactly what we're doing, but know that we've got some big things coming here relatively quick, like, so if you've not looked up our YouTube channel yet, please do so. Just search for the Show Me Sports Network, click the uh, subscription button, as well as the notification icon, too, so you won't miss any of the content. We do archive our games there. I'm about 70 games behind, so trying to get football and softball from this fall archived. We can also archive them anywhere you can find, find podcasts. You can listen to our game broadcast as well. So Case will have it. Far side, Cavanis with it. He drives in, throws it up, no good. He's looking for a foul, nothing called. And Centralia will have the basketball. As with it is Rosenfelder here on the near side. He'll give it off to uh, Bennett. Now get it back. Still on the near side as it'll be uh, down low. There's going to be Romine with it. Shot up from the low post is good by Croft. He's got two points. That lead at three now at 20 to 17 in favor of Centralia. So Thompson will have it. He'll get it back. The freshman has it. Right wing holding it above his head. He is Cavanis. There's a three on the far side. Good. That by Aarons. He will tie the ball game up at 20 apiece with that tray. That comes with four minutes to go left in this first half of action. Far side with it. Romine has it. He'll work the uh, left-hand dribble. Give it off near side to Rosenfelder. See him looking in the paint. That's Bennett with it. He drives in. Shot no good. Got it back. He'll dish it off. Shot up. That one no good. Our mystery number 10. That one will fall out. Marshall will take it the other way. Again, tied 20 to 20. As with it on the low post is Cooker. He'll kick it back to Cavanis, trying to split the defender, driving in, shot up no good, but a foul. That one is called on Romine, his first team fifth. So at the free throw line. 
will be Cavanis. He's looking for a couple of tosses here. 331 left to go in this first half. So he will take a couple dribbles. First free throw up. Good. So he's got four points. That's our tenth lead change of the ball game. So he will have a second free throw coming. Gavinus is two of five. Now two of six from the free throw line. Ball's going to be on the court. It'll be saved, though, by the Panthers as they'll take it the other way. Romine will slow it down, let traffic clear. Bennett will have it back to Romine. So he'll work on the far side. Bennett again straight away with it. Romine far side. Now they'll get Brooks involved with it. He'll have it top of the key. Bounce pass, right wing to our mystery player. Now with it is Romine, near side, Brooks. He'll have it in the paint, dishing off to Bennett for three, good. Bennett has got three. That gives the lead back to the Panthers at 23-21. The Owls trailing now, but have the basketball. Cabanis has it, gives it off to Case. Now right wing with it for a moment was Aarons down low. Dominique had it, gives it back to Aarons. Cross court pass far side to Case. In the paint driving in is Aarons and a whistle on a foul as he should have two shots coming. So that's Anthony Ford. His first team sixth. That's our mystery that we saw. So. 2.32 left to go here in this first half. First free throw up. Rattled it in to Aarons. He has got six points. Allspock checks back in. Cooker checks out. Allspock had some attention to that right knee brace. There while he was out of the ball game. I think they just tightened it up. Second shot up good. So Aarons makes both of those. He has got seven points. We're tied at 23 apiece, our third tie of the ball game as the Panthers have the basketball finally break the timeline. Now with it driving in is Romine. His shot no good. Allspock gets the rebound. He gives it off. For the Owls, gives it off to Aarons. Tries to drive in, got it stripped, got it back. Saves it out front to Case. He'll fire three up, no good. Aarons offensive put back up and good. A lead goes back to Marshall, 25-23. Left wing with it, trying to drive in is Croft. His shot no good. Rebound will be knocked down. It'll be saved by Brooks. Far side, they'll reset. Romine has a near side, free throw line, far side. He'll give it off to Brooks. Now with it is Zimmerman. Down on the baseline, double team there. He needs to get rid of it. And he will be saved as... They say out of bounds off of Allspock foot. Zimmerman was double teamed down there. I talked about it early in the game. Good matchup between Zimmerman as well as Allspock. Here they match up quite well, have a similar hairstyle, have a similar build, have a similar height. So good matchup between those two. Zimbound will go into the hands of Brooks. He'll fire three up good. He has got six points. The lead changes hands once again. Back to a one-point lead this time. In favor of Centralia, 26-25. Jones will have it. Give it back to Case. And Jones, or sorry, that's not Jones. That's Dominique in the paint. Driving in. There's a shot up. And it's going to be an offensive foul. So Aarons will pick up his first team fifth. As offensive foul called. A minute 17 left to go here in this first half. So inbound will... Go in for the Panthers. As Zimmerman has it, he'll look far side. Rosenfelder has it. Down low to Zimmerman. Can't work his way in. Chick has it. A play little catch around the perimeter as Bennett will have it far side. Brooks with it. There's Chick. He's a three-point threat on the far side, but doesn't take a three. Under 60 to go. Chick will get it back. Looking down low. Bennett backs his way in. Shot up good. He's got five points. The lead at three at 28-25. 44 seconds and counting left here in this first half. Jones had it. Dominique. Now this is Cavanis with it. As Case has it. Gives it out 
to Allspock. Now the reset is 26 on the clock. Cavanis with it. Falling back, right-hander up, no good. Couldn't get it to fall. Rebound comes down to Zimmerman. He'll give it off to Brooks as he'll have it. Now with it is Bennett, left wing near side. Here is Rosenfelder. Zimmerman has it, and he'll work around the double team there better. This is Brooks out front. As seven on the clock, far side. That's Chick with it. He'll give it to Brooks. Two on the clock, one. He'll fire up a three. Missed everything. As Centralia squanders an opportunity there to add to their lead as they do take the lead to halftime, 28-25, to but had plenty of time to get a shot set. They did not do so. They take the three-point lead to halftime here at 28-25. We're going to take a quick break and be right back, get into your halftime scoring summary, some, some of our other halftime activities as you're listening to exclusive coverage from the uh, fifth-place game of the 2023 Harrisburg Basketball Tournament on the boys' side here on the Show Me Sports Network. At the Boone County Journal, we're with you all the way. We know that you're more than just a subscriber. You're an employer. You're a parent. You're a neighbor. Most importantly, you're a community member. It's our goal to provide you with the latest news, sports, opinions, obituaries, classifieds, and more to keep you informed about your community. To find out more about the Boone County Journal or to subscribe, call 573-657-2334 or visit bocojo.com. The Boone County Journal. We're with you all the way. The following public service announcement is brought to you by the Eddie Goodell Society, Jefferson City Chapter 10, doing little things to make a big difference. Want to make a big difference in your community? Be kind to others, drive safely, and put litter in its proper place. Join us in celebrating Eddie Goodell's historic Major League appearance as a member of the St. Louis Browns by doing something nice for someone today. Take a walk, Eddie! Last Sentinel Firearms is your federally licensed and registered Type 7 FFL manufacturer dealer in Missouri, providing quality products to all types of sports enthusiasts, law enforcement, and individuals across the nation. Orders are currently being fulfilled, offering custom-built pistols and rifles from the AR platform made right here in Missouri. Visit their website at lastsentinelfirearms.com or call them at 417-684-7202 to find out what they've got for you. Last Sentinel Firearms, you are your your last line of defense. In today's world, injury prevention is at the top of everyone's list. However, heat-related occurrences get routinely overlooked. Zealous WBGT puts that front and center. By using cutting-edge formulas and technology, Zealous WBGT streamlines and simplifies obtaining and documenting wet bulb globe temperature readings. With a simple touch of a button, you can check WBGT anywhere in the world, receiving alerts when the WBGT goes over the threshold you select. Join the stress-free way to protect student-athletes, employees, and overall operations from extreme heat by downloading the free Zealous WBGT app today. Save time, save money, save lives with Zealous WBGT. Well, it's a three-point ball game here at halftime at 28-25. to 25. The Panthers leading the Owls, taking a look at a scoring summary for the first half. Nobody has hit double digits yet, but for the Panthers... Their leading scores with six points apiece, sophomore Travis Brooks, as well as senior Bowen Zimmerman. Five points put in by junior Colin Bennett. Four points by junior Noah Croft. Three points by senior Benji Chick. And two points by sophomore and Logan Rosenfelder and senior Austin Orth to round out their scoring. Take a look at the scoring for the Owls. Leading scorer. Between either team, sophomore Deacon Aarons, he's got nine points. Four points put in by junior Stephen Cavanis. Three points by freshman Chase Thompson, as well as junior Jaden Dominique. And two points by freshman Brody Cooker, as well as senior Logan Allspock to round out their scoring. Oh, and I missed uh, two points by junior Jackson Case as well. As the Owls trail by 3, 28-25. We've had 13 lead changes in the first half. Ties at 15, 20, and 23. That was our most recent tie was 23. Taking a look at the foul situation. Not too bad for the Owls. Only committed five fouls. As one each on Aaron's Case, Thompson, Dominique, and Allspock. 
for Centralia. They committed six fouls, but nobody with more than one. As Romine, Bennett, Brooks, Rosenfelder, Zimmerman, and Ford, each with one foul apiece. We're going to take another break here and be back with more of our halftime show as you're listening to exclusive coverage from the fifth place boys game here in the 2023 Harrisburg Basketball Tournament here on the Show Me Sports Network. Running out of some of your favorite Avon products and haven't seen an Avon brochure in quite some time? No need to worry. Avon Independent Sales Representative Michelle Carty can help with your skin so soft, makeup, jewelry, fragrance, and skin care needs. Avon now carries cleaning supplies, clothing, daily essentials, and several small LG electronic items. You now have the opportunity to shop online 24-7 and have your order shipped directly to your front door by shopping with Michelle at mcarty.avonrepresentative.com. Dot com or find her on Facebook by searching Avon Carti. At Centurion Cares, for more than three decades, their focus has been on exceeding customer expectations for contact center software solutions. Their innovative communication solutions include utility interactive voice response software that allows for smart communication features that let your utility deliver superior customer service 24-7. They also provide other streamlined services like automatic call distribution, automated customer callback, reporting, and quality assurance. To find out more about how Centurion Cares can help your business, call them at 727-421. 5300 or look them up online at centurioncares.com centurion cares innovative communication solutions creating custom handcrafted woodworking projects has never been easier become a member of sawdust studios and enjoy 24 7 access to a woodworker's paradise outfit with industry-leading professional grade tools sawdust studios offers endless woodworking possibilities don't have woodworking experience no problem as sawdust studios offers affordable classes from a community of woodworkers experienced designers and master craftsmen youth classes are also offered for those junior woodworkers for more information search sawdust studios on facebook or find them online at sawdust Sawdust247.com. Sawdust Studios, your community wood shop. Hello, Blake Gazaway here with the Show Me Sports Network. I've had the opportunity to have some amazing calls, including overtime touchdowns, walk-off home runs, and buzzer-beating baskets. But I've answered another call. That's to serve my community as a volunteer firefighter. Stop and think what would happen if your home or property caught fire and no one was there to put it out. Every day, volunteer firefighters not only save lives and property, but also respond to other emergencies. Nearly two-thirds of our nation's fire departments are manned by volunteer firefighters. And because of this, we simply need need more volunteers to step up and answer the call. Stop by or contact your local fire department and see how you can become a volunteer firefighter today. I answered the call to serve my community. Will you? Well, both teams back on the court here getting warmed up as there's a little under three minutes to go. Again, three-point ball game. It's eight, uh, 28 to 25. The Panthers leading the Owls here. As next game we have on the docket, we'll switch back to the girls' side and we'll switch to the third place games. So that'll be uh, number three, Harrisburg, taking on number five, the Blair Oaks Falcons. And then in the uh, fourth game of the day, in the boys' half for third place, it'll be number three, Hallsville Indians, taking on number four, Harrisburg Bulldogs. In that game, with Hallsville will be on our sister channel, the uh, Show Me Sports Network 1 or SMSN 1. So pretty easy to change your feed on the app or the media center, however you're listening. Just change it over to that, but we will have that. because That's where we put Hallsville Athletics is on our sister channel. Both teams finishing up shooting up here. We're going to take a uh, another quick break real quick. And uh, get you set for second half action as you're listening to exclusive coverage from the 2023 Harrisburg Basketball Tournament here on the Show Me Sports Network. There's no better way to celebrate a special event or show someone just how important they are to you than gifting them something handcrafted from Country with a Heart. Handmade in mid-Missouri, Country with a Heart specializes in hand-built woodworking projects for every occasion. Their design collection includes children's furniture, doll furniture, household items, holiday decor, outdoor decorations, custom projects, and everything in between. To view their full inventory of projects, visit countrywithaheart.com and find them on Facebook by joining the Country with a Heart group page. 
Since 2018, Han Custom Laser Engraving LLC has been specializing in all things custom, using large format, high powered lasers with some of the most advanced technologies on the market. Anything can become a canvas. The state of the art system makes quick work of custom engraving on cups, glass, tile, wood, acrylic, metal, headstones with endless possibilities. They also offer custom one of a kind signs that are sure to make your design stand out. Find them on Facebook at Han Custom Laser Engraving or call 573 489 8732 to find out more on Custom Laser Engraving, LLC, a veteran-owned business. And we're just about ready to begin play here in the second half as possession belongs to Marshall. As they'll turn it over, their pass was too strong for Thompson. It'll go out of bounds off of him. So it'll be a turnover. Go back to Centralia, who leads... As far side, there's going to be a three up. That no good. Rebound will be on the court. It will be taken by Marshall. As Marshall will be going right to left on your broadcast here in the second half. We're glad you tuned in to our broadcast here on the Show Me Sports Network. As Alsbach will have it out front. He will give it off to uh, Cavanis down low. That is Allspock with it. There's a three up. That by Thompson. That no good. And a whistle. And a foul. So that will be called on Allspock. His second team first. So that will be on the senior there. Centralia has the three-point lead near side with it. That's Zimmerman. They'll give it off to Rosenfelder. Now straight away, that's Bennett. And it has it far side, Romine. Zimmerman trying to drive along the baseline, kick it off for Rosenfelder. Three up, good. Rosenfelder has five points. The lead at 6, 31 to 25 right now in favor of the Panthers. Far side with it will be Thompson. He'll go left now, or start left, go right. Straight away with it is Case. Case has it. He'll give it off to uh, Aarons. They'll play a little catch, far side, Thompson with it. Now Cavanis has it, lost the handle, got it back, gives it off to Thompson, left wing. Far side with it now is Case. As Aarons will be picked up there by Romine. Allspock will get it. He'll fake it to the first guy, give it to Cavanis, go in the other direction. There's Case for three, banked it in. He has got a direct line to the banker because he throws that in. That makes it a 31-28 score. As Romine will have it, Zimmerman near side. Free throw line gives it off to Bennett. Shot up, no good. That taken by Croft. Second effort, no good. He'll get the rebound. There'll be Bennett. There's a three up by Romine. No good. Rebound will come down to uh, the Owls the other way as they trail by three, and there's going to be a travel. As Thompson took steps before he got the pass off, it'll go back to the Panthers. 31-28 score in favor of Centralia. As this game, the fifth place game here in the 2023 Harrisburg Basketball Tournament. As in the paint with it. Will. The case. He'll get it back in the paint. Zimmerman has it near side. Second effort. Shot no good. He mishandled the pass. Had to wait. And go back up with it. That one no good. Rebound comes down for the Owls as there's going to be a pass knocked out. It'll go the other way for Centralia. As with it is Rosenfelder. He'll give it off to Bennett. Driving in is Romine. His shot no good. Zimmerman will get the rebound. Rosenfelder for three again. In and out no good. Couldn't get it to fall. Rebound comes down in the hands of Case. Sorry, that's Thompson rather. And a timeout called. The Owls will call a timeout. They want a full timeout. We'll take a break and be right back as you're listening to exclusive coverage from the 2023 Harrisburg Basketball Tournament here on the Show Me Sports Network. 
Hi, I'm retired Army Sergeant Trent Dirks, and I want to tell you about an organization that saved and changed my life forever. Retrieving Freedom provides highly trained service dogs to veterans with disabilities and children with autism absolutely free of charge, thanks to the generous donations and support from people just like you. Experts from Retrieving Freedom help throughout the entire process from fostering programs through service dog placement. Retrieving Freedom gave me the skilled service dog, Tracer, who has been my best friend in my lifeline. To find out more about how you can get involved, volunteer, foster, or to donate, visit their website, retrievingfreedom.org. Retrieving Freedom, changing lives through the training and placement of service dogs for veterans with disabilities and children with autism. At the Boone County Journal, we're with you all the way. We know that you're more than just a subscriber. You're an employer. You're a parent. You're a neighbor. Most importantly, you're a community member. It's our goal to provide you with the latest news, sports, opinions, obituaries, classifieds, and more to keep you informed about your community. To find out more about the Boone County Journal or to subscribe, call 573-657-2334 or visit bocojo.com. The Boone County Journal, we're with you all the way. Well, full timeout called there by the Owls as they trail by 331-28. Ayers will have it out at center circle. He'll work to the far side. He'll give it off into the hands of Dominique. Gives it to Cavanis. Drives in right-hander. No good. Had a screen set there. Worked through it. Couldn't get it to fall, though. Romine will have it far side. They'll give it to Rosenfelder. He'll dish it off. There's a shot. Turn around, Jay. No good by Croft as rebound will come down for the Owls. As we're at 434 and counting, left this third period. Cavanis drives in, right-hander floater couldn't get it to fall. Rosenfelder will come out with it on the far side. He'll have it thrown away, though, as stealing it is Aarons. He'll drive in, lays it up with the left hand, lays it in. He's the first player to reach double digits with 11. It's back to a one-point game now at 31-30 to 30 in favor of Centralia. Bounce pass into the hands of Croft. Now there'll be another three by Cavaness. No good. Rebound will be taken by, I said Cavaness. That three was up by Rosenfelder. Cavaness gets the rebound. He'll have it far side. Now straight away with it is Dominique. Now this is Aarons driving in. Back to Jones for three. That's good. His first points of the game. That is our 14th lead change as that gives the 33-31 two-point advantage in favor of Marshall. As Zimmerman will have a cross-court pass, Rosenfelder won't take the three. He'll give a pass off to Romine over here on the near side. Down low, Croft with it. Now backs it free throw line. Rosenfelder for three, far side, no good. Rebound will be knocked around. It'll be saved by Bennett. Bennett will give it off to Romine, back to Bennett, back to Romine. As Croft with it at the high elbow. Back to Romine, won't take the three, bounce passes Zimmerman in the paint. There's a shot up good by Croft. He's got six points. They say basket good foul is on Jones, his first team second. So now we're tied at 33-33. to 33. So at the free throw line here will be Croft. He has six points looking for number seven. Would give his team the lead back if he could hit this. Free throw up, no good. So we're still tied at 33 as rebound will be tipped out into the hands of Jones. He'll give it off to Cavanis, tied 33 apiece. He'll dish it off to Thompson, left wing. He'll look down low, near side, shot up and good by Cooker. He's got four points. That makes it a 35-33 advantage for the Owls. Brooks will have it, far side. There's going to be a three up by Romine. Good. That's his first bucket of the game. That's our 15th lead change of the game. We have a timeout called. As Centelia takes a 30-second timeout, we'll keep it right here. As they have the one-point lead now at 36-35. This comes with 2.38 left to go in this third period. As about 20 minutes after the hour here about 20 minutes after two o'clock but Gazaway here with you on the show me sports network bringing you exclusive coverage from the 2023 harrisburg basketball tournament this is 
the boys' half of the action. This is the fifth place game on the consolation side. Game two of six we'll have on the air today. Oh, Centralia has the lead back at 36-35. However, the Owls have the basketball. Cavanis will walk across the timeline. He'll get it back. He'll drive in. Right-hander up too strong. Rebound, though, will be saved by Cooker. He'll go back up with it. No good, but he's fouled. That's either on Chick or on Orth. It'll be on Orth. His first team first. So at the free throw line will be Cooker. He's got four points. Could tie it up, take the lead. First one good. So we're tied at 36-36 now. It's our fifth tie of the ball game that we've had so far. Now the next one. Up. Oh, that one also good. So the lead goes back to the Owls. As it's a 37-36 advantage for Marshall. Far side, Chick has it. Pass is going to be through the hands of Bennett. However, Orth there, shot up no good. Bennett gets it, second effort shot, no good. But he will go to the free throw line. As that foul called on Dominique, his second team third. Again, it makes it a one-point game. And 37-36. Panthers at the free throw line. First free throw up, good. By Bennett, he's got six points. Now we're tied at 37-37, 2.08 left to go here in the contest. Sorry, in this third period of the fourth period of play. 37 tie, that one up, that one no good. So we stay tied at 37 apiece as can't hit the second free throw there is Bennett. Far side with it will be Dominique. He'll give it in the paint. Driving in is Cavanis. He lost the handle on the basketball. We'll go back the other way. So Centralia has a chance to regain the lead here. So we're tied 37-37. A minute 55 and counting left here in this third period. Brooks has it. He'll stop top of the key. Give it off to Rosenfelder. Down low bounce pass to Bennett. And that one's going to be to Orth. And we have whistle and a jump ball called. And it's possession points. In favor of Centralia. So Centralia will have the basketball. Again, we're tied at 37-37. Minute 44. We'll have to go here in this third period. Bennett will start the inbound play. He'll get it into Rosenfelder. Is he working on the far side? Now with it is Chick. Back to Rosenfelder. He'll look free throw line to Bennett. There's a three up, no good on the iron by Brooks. However, offensive rebound by Rosenfelder, so they'll reset. There's going to be a jumper in the paint. That one no good by Bennett. Another offensive rebound, Chick for three. That one no good. Rebound this time comes down for the Owls as Dominique will get the rebound. He will give it off to Aarons. So he'll dish it back to Dominique. Three up left wing was short, no good. Offensive rebound put back up and good. That one by Case, he's got seven points. That gives the lead for two points back to the Owls. So we're under a minute to play this third period. Bounce pass near side, Orth has it. There's going to be a pass tipped out, but Chick goes and gets it. He'll have it. Give it off to Rosenfelder. Far side with it is Brooks. Cross court pass near side to Chick. Straight away, there's a three up by Rosenfelder. No good. He's lost his touch. Rebound comes down to the hands of Allspock as he rips it away from what would be a defender on the other team. So he gives it off. Far side with it is Case. Allspock will get it straight away. He'll spin around there, top of the key, give it back as they reset the offense as Aarons will have it. Allspock top of the key, 15 on the clock. He'll dish it for Thompson. He's trying to drive in, lays it up too strong. Rebound comes down as Bennett has it the other way. It's two on three. His shot up no good. Offensive rebound knocked out. However, right into the hands of Dominique, who was standing out of bounds. He uh, caught that pass. Just the instinct of it. If he didn't catch it, it would have hit him anyway. So same result. 4.5 seconds left. This third period, Centralia inbounds it in the paint. Zimmerman goes up, and he'll be fouled. As he will go to the free throw line, 2.5 seconds left. 
And that foul called on Dominique, his third, team fourth. So it will be two shots here as Zimmerman will eye the bucket. First one up, no good. So the best he can do is bring his team within one here as the Owls lead 39-37. Second free throw, no good as well. As rebound comes down for Marshall, they'll try a half-court shot. No good as Thompson threw it up but couldn't get it to fall in. That'll take us to the end of the period. As we'll go to the fourth period, it is 39-37, Owls leading. We'll take a quick break and be back. You're listening to exclusive coverage of the 2023 Harrisburg Basketball Tournament here on the Show Me Sports Network. The following public service announcement is brought to you by the Eddie Goodell Society, Jefferson City Chapter 10, doing little things to make a big difference. Want to make a big difference in your community? Be kind to others, drive safely, and put litter in its proper place. Join us in celebrating Eddie Goodell's historic Major League appearance as a member of the St. Louis Browns by doing something nice for someone today. Take a walk, Eddie! Last Sentinel Firearms is your federally licensed and registered Type 7 FFL manufacturer dealer in Missouri, providing quality products to all types of sports enthusiasts, law enforcement, and individuals across the nation. Orders are currently being fulfilled offering custom-built pistols and rifles from the AR platform made right here in Missouri. Visit their website at lastsentinelfirearms.com or call them at 417-684-7202 to find out what they've got for you. Last Sentinel Firearms, you are your last line of defense. Well, the Owls lead by two at 39-37 in the basketball to begin this fourth period of play. Cavanis has it straight away, leaves it for Case down low. There's going to be a foul as they were looking down low. That foul called on Zimmerman. Zimmerman's second, team second. I think the players realize that because they continue play. But it'll be an inbound here for the Owls. They will have it underneath their own bucket. They'll get it out front to Thompson. He'll work far side with it to Aarons. He'll leave it for Cavanis, trying to drive in, ran into his own teammate, throws it up offline. Thought that was going to be good, but it was just a hair offline. There's going to be a foul called. On Allspock, his third, team fifth. Not a good foul there for him to give up, but honestly, it kind of looked like he got off centered and was trying not to fall face first onto the court and made the contact just to keep himself up. So Centralia will have the basketball. They trail by two at 39-37. Far side with it. Romine has it. Gives it straight away to Bennett. Near side, that'll be Rosenfelder with it. Bennett. Romine, he'll step in, running one-hander up, no good. Rebound will be taken by Zimmerman, and he is going to turn it over. Well, they say inadvertent whistle. Inadvertent whistle is Zimmerman was just shocked that there was no foul. He had the basketball and was just laying on his back, and no whistle to stop play. Then he's like, oh, shoot, I got the basketball. We need to... Do something with it here as this is a live ball. So Centralius keeps the basketball and the inadvertent whistle. They will have it on their end of the court underneath their own bucket. As they trail by two to the Owls, 39-37. 7.20 left to go here in the ball game. Inbound will go into the paint. Nothing doing there as Zimmerman will have it out front. He'll leave it for Rosenfelder. Far side, near side, Romine will get it. Gives it back to Croft. Now far side, Rosenfelder for three. No good. It'll hit the iron, and it'll hit the support on the top of the backboard. That'll be a dead ball. Go back to Marshall. Again, Marshall leads by two, 39-37. We played 60 seconds here into this final period of action. As Case will have it, far side. That'll be Cavanis with it. He'll look down low, can't do anything there. Picked up his dribble, needs to get rid of it. As he is hounded there, he will do so. Get it in a case who's just as deep in the right wing. He'll drive in, his shot up no good, got his rebound, he'll be fouled. As he will go to the free throw line, he is knocked down. That foul called on Croft, his first team third. So at the free throw line, 
will be Jackson Case, the junior. So he will tuck in his jersey before he shoots these free throws. So he will eye the bucket. And he'll take a couple of dribbles. Shot up. No good. This team has a two-point lead at 39-37. So he will have a second free throw coming, looking for point number eight here. Free throw is up and good. So he makes the back half of those free throws. So he has eight points in the game. The lead at three at 40-37. to Far side with it. Lee Rosenfelder near side is Romine. There's going to be a loose ball, and we'll say jump ball. As Croft was tied up there, he was laying on the court as he dove after that. He gets tied up. Centralia keeps the basketball here. 6.32 left to go in regulation. Three-point ball game in favor of Marshall. Quick amount of Croft in the paint shot up good. That was pretty easy right there. He's got eight points, makes it a 40-39 ball game. In favor of Marshall, they have the basketball here. Cabinets will have it. Addition off for Case. Now with it, trying to back his way in is Allspock. He'll try to go up with it. Couldn't get it to fall as he flips it up and just overshot the mark on the basket. Down low, Croft has it. His shot up too hard. Rebound, Zimmerman. He'll go back up good, and he'll be fouled. Zimmerman has eight points. He'll have the chance of the old-fashioned three-point play as the basket was good. That foul is going to be on Cavanis, his first, team six. So that is lead change number 17. If you're keeping track at home, that's on your bingo card for the game. 6.03 left to go. It's a 41-40 lead now for the Panthers over the Owls. Zimmerman, if he hits this, this will give it a two-point ball game in his team's favor. So he'll eye the bucket. He'll bend the knees. Free throw up good. So he has got nine points, makes it a 42-40 ball game. We're just past 2.30 here on the Show Me Sports Network. Blake Gazaway here with you. Glad you're tuned in to our broadcast here today. There's going to be a whistle and a foul as that will be called on Croft, his second team fourth. So it will be an inbound here for the Owls as they will have it on their end of the court. Inbound goes into the top of the key to Dominique. He'll give it off to Jones. Back to Dominique, left wing, looking down low. Pass was offline. It'll go the other way. As the Panthers get the loose ball, they have the two-point lead, looking to add to it. As far side with it, that is Rosenfelder. He'll get it back, looking in the paint. That's Croft with it. He'll give it straight away to Bennett. Back to Rosenfelder. Won't take the three. Try to step in. Gives it down low. Simmerman shot up good. He's got 11 points. It's a four-point lead for the Panthers now at 44-40. As far side, Cavanis will have it. See the Blair Oaks Falcons girls team go to the locker room. They're going to get ready. So they have the next game here today, game three of six. Trying to back his way in, turn around, shot up. No good by Cooker, but he'll go to the free throw line as he is fouled. That one called on Zimmerman, number three on the big senior. Team foul number five. So will be at the free throw line. Cooker for Marshall. He has got six points. He's two for two from the free throw line. His team trails by four at 44 to 40. First free throw from him up. Good. So he's got seven points. Looking to make it eight and cut that lead down to two. He can hit this second one. That one up, that one, no good. So a three-point lead here for Centralia, and they have the basketballs. We're under five to go. Bennett will have it out at center circle. And the elbow with it for a moment was Croft. Bennett will get it straight away, three, up, good. Bennett drains the three. He's got nine points. It's a six-point lead at 47-41. You hear the crowd starting to come alive here. At Coach Combs Court here at Harrisburg High School. Stephen Cabanis will have it on the far side. Now straight away with it. He'll give it off to Jones here on the near side. Now with it is Aarons. He'll fire up his own three. Rattled that one in. He's got 14 points. The lead cut in half as there'll be a timeout called. We'll take a quick break and we'll be back. 
as you're listening to exclusive coverage from the 2023 Harrisburg Basketball Tournament here on the Show Me Sports Network. In today's world, injury prevention is at the top of everyone's list. However, heat-related occurrences get routinely overlooked. Zealous WBGT puts that front and center. By using cutting-edge formulas and technology, Zealous WBGT streamlines and simplifies obtaining and documenting wet bulb globe temperature readings. With a simple touch of a button, you can check WBGT anywhere in the world, receiving alerts when the WBGT goes over the threshold you select. Join the stress-free way to protect student-athletes, employees, and overall operations from extreme heat by downloading the free Zealous WBGT app today. Save time, save money, save lives with Zealous WBGT. Running out of some of your favorite Avon products and haven't seen an Avon brochure in quite some time? No need to worry. Avon Independent Sales Representative Michelle Carty can help with your skin so soft, makeup, jewelry, fragrance, and skin care needs. Avon now carries cleaning supplies, clothing, daily essentials, and several small LG electronic items. You now have the opportunity to shop online 24-7 and have your order shipped directly to your front door by shopping with Michelle at mcarty.avonrepresentative.com. Dot com or find her on Facebook by searching Avon Carty. Well, full timeout called there by the Owls. They trail, just cut that lead down to three. It was six. They trail 47 43. Zimmerman will have it along the baseline. He'll drive in, shot up good. He has got two more points. 13, seven of those coming in this final period of play as we are nearly halfway through this final period in regulation. As Jones will have it far side, near side with it will be Aarons. As straight away, Dominique has it, won't take the three. Cavanis has it. There's going to be a loose ball. It'll be taken by Romine. He'll drive in, underhanded scoop, no good. Offensive rebound by Croft. He'll kick it back to Romine. Three up, right wing, in and out, no good. Too much English. Rebound comes down as the Owls will take it the other way. They trail 49-44. Dish it near side, won't take the three by Dominique. He'll give it to Cavanis. He'll try to drive in, lost the handle, but it was contact that separated him from the basketball as that'll be on Croft, his third, team number six. So we'll be an inbound here. Next foul will for either team will put the other in the bonus. They'll have a one-and-one -one opportunity on the bonus. 3.28 left to go here in the ball game. It is a five-point lead for the Panthers at 49-44. Owls will have the basketball inbound into Thompson as he'll dish it off to Case. Far side with it will be Cavanis. Straight away to Thompson. Cavanis will have to tight rope on the far side to get it, but does so. Trying to drive along the baseline. Can't do anything there. Ran out of real estate. Aarons will have it. He'll drive in. He'll fire up a shot. No good. He hits the deck. And there's going to be a ball out of bounds. And they'll say last touched by Centralia as Aaron slow to get up there. He hit the deck, thought he might have rolled the ankle, but he gets up, says he's okay. So it will be basketball, so there'll be an offensive foul there. So that one will be number four on Allspock. Team foul number seven, so he gets called for an offensive foul, so Centralia will get it back. Again, they lead 49-44. Pressure put on here on the inbound as Romine will have it. Zimmerman near side, Croft, his jumper up, no good. Offensive put back by Zimmerman, up and good. He has got 15 points. Again, nine of those coming in this fourth period of play. 51-44, driving in, shot up, no good by Case. Ball's out of bounds, will stay with the Owls as they trail 51-44, 2.47 left to go here in this ball game. Again, this is the fifth place game of the tournament. As inbound will go into the hands of Thompson. He'll be double teamed along the baseline and a whistle and a foul as that will be called on Bennett, his third team foul number seven. So at the free throw line with a one and or bonus opportunity is Thompson. So Thompson has three points, really has to hit some free throws here, that one good. So he's got four points, one for one from the free throw line. Chips that lead down to six, was seven. Now it's down to six, he could cut it to five, he could hit this second free throw. This one up, that one no good. 
Zimmerman will get the rebound, so he cannot cut it down anymore. As with it will be Zimmerman once again along the baseline. He'll give it off to Romine. As Croft has it, gives it straight away to Bennett. So we're at two and a half minutes to go here in regulation. Bennett will get it back far side. Rosenfelder, Zimmerman, he'll fire up a three left wing. Good. The senior is on fire as he has got 18 points, 12 of those coming here in this final period. That one fouled on Croft. That'll be his fourth team eighth. So Cavanis will be at the free throw line. He is two of six from the free throw line. So he has a chance to cut this lead down. That one up is good. Hit the iron, falls in. So the lead down to eight. Could cut it to seven if he could hit this second free throw. That one up. That one no good. So he cannot do that. His rebound will come down in the hands of Romine. Allspock had it for a moment, but got a few fingertips on it. Bennett will have it. He just threw it away as getting the steal is Case. He'll drive in. Shot up. No good. Missed it. Rebound will be on the court. It's still on the court. And we'll have whistle and jump ball called. As we'll stay on this end of the court. Good sportsmanship there by Case to help get Croft off the floor. Help pick him up. Pat him on the back. Said good job. So kudos to him for being a good sport down there. So they were tied up on that loose ball. Inbound goes in to, goes in to uh, Thompson. He will be knocked down, lose the basketball. It'll go the other way for the Panthers. A minute 40 left to go here in the ball game. 54-46 lead for the Panthers. Near side with it will be Romine. He'll have it, give it top of the key. Down low to Bennett, trying to back his way in. Shot up, good. Bennett has got 11 points. It's now a 10-point lead at 54-46. Far side with it is Cavanis. They'll try to drive in baseline. Lost the handle. Swatted out of there. Rebound comes down to Zimmerman. As Zimmerman will give it off to Bennett, who will slowly walk it across the timeline. Rosenfelder had it for a moment. Zimmerman right wing. We're nearing a minute to go. There's going to be a whistle and a reach in. That'll be on Cavanis, his second. Team number eight. 101 left to go here in the ball game. Again, a 10-point lead. As Croft will be at the free throw line. So Centralia leading here. As Croft has the first free throw good. He's got nine points. Looking to make it number 10. Now it's an 11-point lead. Could push that to a dozen if he can hit this free throw. Second free throw, no good. So still an 11-point lead. So we're under a minute to go. With it is Case. He'll try to drive in, lay it high off the glass. Good, and he'll be fouled. Count the bucket. He has got 10 points. That foul on Rosenfelder, his second, team ninth. So at the free throw line with the old-fashioned three-point play here is Jackson Case, the junior. He's got 10 points, looking to make it 11. He could cut that lead down here. So it is a nine, cut it to eight if he could hit this. Free throw is up, good. Case is two of three from the free throw line, has 11 points in the game. As there's gonna be a whistle and a foul called on the inbound. That one on Case, that's number two on him, team foul number nine, so we will walk all the way down to the other end. 50.4 seconds left here in the ball game as Panthers will go to the free throw line. Romine will be there. So he will have a wanted bonus toss. 50.4 seconds left. 57-49 score in favor of the Panthers. Romine will eye the bucket. His first free throw, good. He makes that. He will have a second one coming as he earns the bonus. Panthers pull off 
Everybody from the free throw line except for Romine. Next free throw is up. That one no good. He takes a long time to get ready for those free throws and then missed it. As with it is Case. He'll drive in. Left-hander up way too strong. Rebound will be lost out of bounds. It'll be last touch by Centralia. Marshall will have the basketball underneath their own bucket. 39 seconds to go here in this fifth-place game. Again, we'll have doubleheader boys or girls and boys third place and then doubleheader girls and boys championship game still left today. Thompson has it, gives it off straight away to Cavanis. He'll give it back to Thompson, far side, three up, well short. Rebound comes down into the hands of Rosenfelder and a whistle and a foul as that will be called on Thompson. The freshman picks up his second team foul, number 10. So going down to the other end will be Rosenfelder. He's got five points, two for two from the free throw line. As it's 58-49, 27 seconds exactly left here in the ball game. First free throw up, good. A Rosenfelder makes his first toss at the free throw line. That puts it back to a 10-point lead, 59-49. Second one up and good. He's perfect, 4 of 4. From the free throw line, has 7 points, pushes that lead to 11. As far side with it, Aarons has it. Dominique for 3, right wing, good. There's going to be a timeout called. He has got 6 points. Timeout called, full timeout called here. As Marshall takes it with 19 seconds and a half seconds left, we'll take a quick break and be back. If you're listening to exclusive coverage from the 2023 Harrisburg Basketball Tournament here on the Show Me Sports Network. At Centurion Cares, for more than three decades, their focus has been on exceeding customer expectations for contact center software solutions. Their innovative communication solutions include utility interactive voice response software that allows for smart communication features that let your utility deliver superior customer service 24-7. They also provide other streamlined services like automatic call distribution, automated customer callback, reporting, and quality assurance. To find out more about how Centurion Cares can help your business, call them at 727-421. 5300 or look them up online at centurioncares.com centurion cares innovative communication solutions marshall calls a full timeout as they trail 60 to 52 they just hit that tray though cut that lead to eight 19 and a half seconds left to go here centralia does have the basketball and the lead as they're vying for fifth place here on the consolation side of the bracket. Good game so far. It's been a pleasure to bring you coverage. It's about 12 minutes shy, 3 o'clock here on the Show Me Sports Network. Blake Gazwa here with you. Inbound will go in from Bennett. He'll give it off to Rosenfelder. He'll be fouled. Again, I don't think that's who you want to send to the free throw line. That'll be on Thompson, his third, team foul number 11. As Rosenfelder is a perfect 4 of 4 from the free throw line. 14.4 seconds left to go here in the ball game. The first free throw, no good. Well, maybe they know something I don't as he's now 4 of 5. As after the completion of this game, we'll take about a 10-minute break or so. Switch gears, go to girls game. It's the third place game. That one up and good. Rosenfelder makes that one. He's got 8 points. 61-52. 61-52. Driving in is Case. His shot up no good. Rebound will be taken by Bennett as he will be double teamed. Three on the clock, two, and they call a jump ball with .9 seconds left here in the game. So it will be an inbound here. Centralia will inbound it, and the horn will sound, and that will take us final At 61-52, hard-fought game here for Marshall as well as for Centralia. Let me second all that up, our totals here. As both teams vying for this fifth-place hardware. We'll see who they name to the uh, all-tournament team as well. I'll do that here in just a second. And let me finish adding up my totals here. A 
Again, the final 61-52. Logan Allspock gets that all-tournament team for Marshall. And for the Panthers, Owen Zimmerman. He uh, gets that for the Centralia Panthers. Taking a look at our totals for the ball game, leading all scores, 18 points by senior Owen Zimmerman. 11 points put in by junior Colin Bennett. Nine points by junior Noah Croft. Eight points by sophomore Logan Rosenfelder. Six points by sophomore Travis Brooks. Four points by senior Jack Romine. Three points by senior Benji Chick. And two points by senior Austin Oath to round out their scoring for the Owls. Their leading scorer with 14 points was sophomore Deacon Ayrns. 11 points put in by junior Jackson Case. Seven points put in by freshman Brody Cooker. Six points by junior Jaden Dominique. And four points contributed, or sorry, five points by junior Stephen Cavanis. Four points by freshman Chase Thompson. And two points by Logan Allspot, the senior to round out their scoring. So in the consolation side, fifth place game, it goes in favor of Centralia as they get the 61-52 final. We're going to take about a 10-minute break here and be back for third place girls action from the 2023 Harrisburg Basketball Tournament. As uh, This is for the Show Me Sports Network. I'm Blake Gassaway. We'll take that break and be back as you're listening to exclusive coverage of the 2023 Harrisburg Basketball Tournament here on the Show Me Sports Network. As Blake Gassaway signing off, so long and have a great afternoon. On the exclusive home for local high school basketball, the Show Me Sports Network. Blake Gasaway and the broadcast crew are the ones that know your team the best. Exclusive coverage of local high school basketball. Serving fans throughout the Midwest and even more around the world, this is the Show Me Sports Network. The preceding was an exclusive broadcast property presentation of the Show Me Sports Network and was a high-fidelity all-digital broadcast. This broadcast is copyrighted by the Show Me Sports Network for the private use of our audience. Any other use of this broadcast without the Show Me Sports Network's written consent is prohibited.